Well, hey, I'm Paul McGowan, CEO of PS Audio. Look what I have in my hand. See the little light here? As I spin this back and forth, you can see it. As I turn this magnet, this light is turning on. Why? Because this magnet is being turned in the proximity of a coil of wire. And the story of the coil of wire and the magnet, which generates all the electricity we use today, is a great story and one that I would like to share with you. We have a free DVD from Coal to Coal Train. This is not a marketing piece. This is just a 40 minute long story of how electricity was discovered, how it's generated, how it gets to your home. We visit a power plant, we visit Hoover Dam. It's a pretty fun video and we're going to show you an excerpt of it in just a second. But I just wanted to let you know about this video and how to get it. So all you need to do is email us free DVD at psaudio.com. Here's an excerpt. Okay, so where are we? Well, we've learned that electricity is electrons moving down a wire or a conductor with an invisible wave. We've also learned that we can make a magnet with electricity, and we've learned that we can reverse that process to make electricity by simply moving a magnet near a coil of wire. So how did the pioneers generate electricity at first? With water. After all, people had been using water power to grind their wheat for centuries, and we were quite familiar with using the power of water to spin a wheel. Well, Nikola Tesla did the same thing, and interestingly enough, he did it for the first time just a few miles from where we are now, in Telluride, Colorado, gold mining country. Well, here we are in Telluride, one of the prettiest areas in the state of Colorado. Located in our southern mountains, Telluride is now a popular skiing destination, but it wasn't always that way. In the 1800s, Telluride, whose name, according to popular legend, means to hell you ride, seemed like a place no one wanted to go, unless there was a really good reason. And there was. Gold. During the late 1890s, Telluride's gold mining industry was about to be shut down because all of the timber had been cut down for fuel to run a steam engine that operated the mine. And they could no longer run the mine without the wood to fire the steam engines. Well, it turns out this is a heck of a problem. And to fix it, they'd need a heck of a solution. Their plan was to use electric power generated from falling water to run the mine instead of steam. So when a lot of money's at stake, you turn to the expert in the field, and in this case, it was Thomas Edison. Edison traveled to Telluride to survey the scene because, well, he was anxious to increase his electric power business. Unfortunately, Edison was forced to turn down the job because of the same basic problem he had with delivering power to homes in New York City. As we now know, low voltage DC cannot travel over long distances. Remember? The power had to be an excerpt from our free DVD from Coal to Coal Train. There's the war of currents between Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla, um, more great interviews with Michael Fremer, um, Bob Harley, Mark Shifter, lots of good stuff, lots of good educational things inside of this. There's no product mention within the entire video. Why do we want to send it to you? Well, we sent over 30,000 of these out so far, and to date, this has shown a lot of you how electricity works, its importance, and well, then uh, maybe we can send you a newsletter, maybe you can uh, check out some of our products. But in any case, it's fun. To get your free DVD, all you need to do is send us an email, freedvd at psaudio.com. Thanks for watching.